Now, our focus and thoughts remain with those who have been affected in the floods in Kerala. 357 people are now dead and there are fears that this number could escalate given the fact that lakhs of people are homeless, stranded and in desperate need of essential amenities like drinking water and food. And with a calamity of this proportion also comes the risk of disease outbreaks. While the state grapples with rescue and relief work, there is some relief, however, from incessant rains in Kerala. The red alert has now been lifted for the next five days. And today, there is an orange alert in 11 districts across Kerala. Also, there is some relief because commercial flights will begin operation from Kochi Naval Air Base tomorrow because the civilian airport in Kochi has been inundated and it will remain closed until the 26th of August. So connectivity there will be restored tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, meanwhile, what is happening on the ground? Those visuals on your screen are relief and rescue work. Different groups, different paramilitary forces, people are really coming together to ensure that relief reaches those who need it the most. Meanwhile, my reporters, my colleagues from across Kerala have been sending us reports. These are some reports from flood-affected areas of Wayanad as well as Kodagu districts. 